Come on, dear. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning, dear. Hello, Jimmy. Morning. Have a good gallop? Yes, fine, thanks. Well, staying for breakfast? I was hoping to. The rides give me quite an appetite. Oh, oh of course. Maybe right. you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, dear. And a toast to our trunk. Mm -hmm. I've got one from Daddy. Oh, here's one from Louise. Oh, where is she now? Well, the thanks. postmark's me. Yeah. Oh. I'll read them later. Excuse me, Jimmy. Yes, yeah, sure. That's right, Jimmy. Help yourself to toast. Thank you. Do you have some butter? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, uh, what's the news from your father now? He said... Oh, I'll read it to you. Um, um, my hands are so full just now that I'm seriously thinking of enlarging my staff. However, in spite of conferences, consultations with counsel and whatnot, I'm determined to be with you on your birthday. Your loving father. Mm. Morning, Willie. Morning. Any letters? No. Any uh, telegrams? No. Any phone calls? No. Any clients? No. Any. No. Haven't I told you to say, sir, would you speak to me? Yes, but that was only if anybody was in the office. Oh, no, no. I'd like you to say it all the time. It sounds more dignified, you know, more business like. I don't like that no to the question I ask you. If the answer is no, I can't say yes. No, but you could say yes, sir. No, I can't. Why not? Because the answer's no. No what? No letters, no telegrams, no phone calls, no clients, no nothing. Oh, well, <coughs> that's what I was trying to get at. No need to stop an argument about nothing at all. And I don't like you sitting there with your feet on the desk. Supposing a client walks in. What a hope. Yes. What'd you say? I said, what a hope. What a hope, sir. Didn't I tell you to light my stove first thing in the morning? Yeah. Well, why didn't you do it? There's no gas. It's turned off. Turned off? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well, you remind me to write a letter to the gas company. All right. Impertinence, cutting off the gas like that. It's like an icebox. That'll freeze to death. Want. Is it any use my ringing this bell? Not till you get some new batteries. Oh. <clears throat> well, what do you want? Haven't I told you not to leave these things lying on my desk? File them. I'll file them. Anything else? Uh, well, uh, what are you reading? What is this? Wild West Weekly. Good heavens, you don't mean to tell me you, you read rubbish like this, do you? Yeah. Well, a boy of your age and intelligence. I don't mind you reading fiction, but why don't you choose a good book like Tom Brown's School Days, Westwood Ho? But this stuff, I mean, this is... Look at it. Mustang Pete lurch forward. Up went the sheriff's gun. Wham! The rifle's put. Wham! The rifle's put. I mean, this is absolute piffle of rubbish, my boy. Absolute nonsense. Is it this week? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, let me see. Uh, what do we start today? Well, are we going to play Ludo? Play Ludo? Yeah. You won a Lemkin from me yesterday. Aren't you going to give me a chance to win it back? Well, uh, as a client. No. Yes. yes uh, you talk about Ludo. Go, go on, let him in. Uh, no, 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 don't let him in. Uh, you know what to do when he comes in? Yeah. You know what to say? Yeah. Here are the papers, government. Preston versus Clarkson case. Yeah. And don't forget, plenty of absurd. Okay. Is Mr. Stubbins in? Yes, sir. Come right in. Is that uh, Snoop, 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 partner and Snoop and Snoop? Well, I'd like to speak to Mr. Snoop. Sub Judici, it's, uh, it's very difficult to say. I have the details here. I, uh, oh, pardon me. Yes, I've been claiming over 20,000, you know. Yes, make our stand on the Hopkinson versus Poole uh, uh, and Smedley, Arkwright intervening. 
Yes, because that was adjourned Saturday day. And we were left in media threes. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was just as well, I think, in view of Spencer's enormous refresher. Anyway, we'll retain the uh, status quo ante, and uh, I'd be inclined to go for 50,000. Yes. Yes, that's right. All right, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have you finished? Uh, yes, thanks. Won't you take a chair? No, I've been sent to take the phone. Excuse me, sir. The doctor's sight is on the phone. He's on the what? The doctor's sight is on the... <laughs> the doctor's sight is outside. <laughs> See you, sir. I'd say he's keeping that up now. There's nobody here. Yes, there is. Tell him for the ring. Oh, hold oh here. Well, uh, uh, tell him I'm not in. Tell him I'm ill. I told you a dozen times I don't want to see him. And I, I'm not going to see him. I, uh... Oh, uh, uh, how do you do, Mr. Bennett? I'm uh, very glad to see you. Uh, step this way. Uh, Mr. Uh, Cubbins, you know your rent's already two weeks overdue. Oh, yes, but uh, you know, you gave me a month's grace, and uh, I still have two weeks to go. Well, at the end of the two weeks, you can put this up. It'll save me the trouble. Good day. Uh, good day. Yeah, good day. Well, well of all the soft impudence. Put it up in a fortnight, save him the trouble. Never heard anything like it all my life. Why didn't you remind me the rent wasn't paid? I did. When? When I reminded you about my wages. You told me not to mention either of them again. Oh, did I? Yeah. Huh. Well, by the way, what am I paying you now? Well, you're supposed to be paying me eight shillings a week. Eight? Yeah. Ah, well, I tell you what I'll do. After the holidays, I'll raise you to ten. Well, I haven't had the eight yet. Well, you'd rather have ten than eight, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's settled. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm going down to my country place for the weekend. So, uh, we'll close the office tomorrow. It's me. Ah. Ah. Oh, we might as well close it now. Better still. And, uh, when I come back, you remind me to write a very nasty letter to the electric company, will you? Okay. Hello, Lucy. My, that lunch smells good. I'm ready for it, too. Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said as how... As how Mrs. I was... Peabody said as how? No, 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 Lucy. Mrs. Peabody said that. Now then, what did she say? Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said, said that. that. As how I was to give you this. Uh, <coughs> well, uh, I'll attend to this after lunch. Well, sir, Mrs. Peabody said you wanted to have no lunch and you'd pay to your rent. Uh, no, no, Mrs. Peabody must have said that I was to have no lunch. No, she said you wasn't to have no lunch. Well, that means I was to have some. No, you wasn't to have none. No, 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 no. No, the way you're saying it, Lucy, you see, you're using two negatives, you see, which makes it a positive. That means I was to have some. No, she was positive you wasn't to have none. Well, I'll see Mrs. Peabody about it later. Right, sir. Mr. Stubbins, can I see you a moment, please? Uh, uh, yes, yes, certainly. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Certainly. Uh, yes, Mrs. Peabody? I'd like your advice about a little legal matter. Oh, yes, 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 certainly. Would you please? In the case of a boarder who is over a month behind with his rent, would I be justified in throwing him out? Well, uh, of course, there's always a question of uh, habeas corpus, you know, which might involve you in an action for uh, quid pro quo, and uh, ipso facto. I think the simpler way would be to ask him to pay. Well, I'm asking you. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, and I'm telling you. Oh, you mean me? You know perfectly well I mean you. No, I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <clears throat> Listen. You owe me over a month's rent. Good gracious, how time flies. It only seems yesterday that I paid you, you know. What I want to know is when you are going to pay me again. Well, I'll, uh, I'll pay you next week. You told me that last week. Now, Mr. Stubbins, you either pay me now or you don't eat or sleep again in this house. Oh. Oh, well, well, if that's how you feel about it, Mrs. Peabody. It's easily settled, isn't it? It's a simple matter. 
Oh, oh dear. Well, well, I... Why, Mummy, what? I've been robbed. Or, or did I leave it at the office? No, no, I, 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 I've been robbed. That leaves a balance of, um, two pounds, eight and seven. Eh? I said that leaves a balance of two pounds, eight and seven. Oh, well, there's just a little item of, uh, of six and eightpence to be deducted, you know. What for? Legal advice. Oh. Watch out. Do you know, I, I don't remember putting that five pound note in my pocket. You didn't. Eh? No, I put it there. You? Yes, I saw you was in a bit of hole and I thought I'd like to help you out. Well, that was very sporty of you. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's all right. Yes, well, I hope to be able to do the same for you someday. You'll need a lot of practice. Mr. Sullins, you did give me that five pound note, didn't you? No, you took it. Very much afraid I wouldn't get here myself. You've no idea the wangling I've had to do to get away. Did you come down by train? Uh, no, by road. Oh, where's your car? Uh, oh, oh, the car. Oh, I, I left that. Uh, I left about two miles away. You know, my my chauffeur, uh, uh, Pickford, careless monkey, taking the wrong turning, ran into a bank and smashed the fender and the back axle. I think. Uh, is this Jimmy? Oh yes, I'm so sorry. Oh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, oh that's very nice. Well, we're all the folks. Get in inside. Come along. Yes. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Benjamin. My word, you look fine. Oh, thank you, Benjamin. Uh, and how are you? Oh, busy, you know, very busy. Hmm. Hello, Roger. Oh, you're looking well, too. Go on. Yes. Well, Daddy, I do hope you'll be able to stay for a few days this time. Yes, that would be nice. Oh, yes, I'd be, I'd, I'd be very... Uh, uh, well, I'm afraid that um, business won't permit you. Oh, Daddy, that's too bad. It's always the same. Ah, but I, I did manage to get out for your birthday, didn't I? Oh, that reminds me. Many happy returns. Oh, thank you. Oh, Barbara, time we were getting along. Yes, Uncle, but... Oh, well, now that Daddy's here, don't you think that you'll... Oh, it's all right. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. I don't want to upset your arrangements. I'll be here when you come back. You sure you don't mind? Oh, certainly, my dear. And uh, don't let me detain you, either. Uh, well, I'll join you two at the meet if you go on ahead. I want to consult your father on a, on a matter of business. All right, then. How long, Jimmy? Cheers, sir. Cheers. 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 Have a good time. Ah, nice boy, that Jimmy, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. He and Barbara, you know, they, they want to be engaged. Oh, is that so? Huh? Yes, his father's a great friend of mine, Lord Burbank. The Burbanks are one of the oldest families in England. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't hold that against him. I should think not. Margaret? Oh, uh, yes, all right, Roger. If you'll excuse me. Sit down, Benjamin. <coughs> Now, look here, Benjamin. When my wife's sister died, I undertook to bring up your daughter and to give her the social advantages to which she was entitled. Up to the present, I have scrupulously carried out my side of the bargain. I've even managed to conceal from Barbara the fact that you are a failure. A miserable failure. Oh, well, I wouldn't say miserable. On your part, you undertook to keep away from here, except on certain special occasions such as this. When I come back, I shall bring Lord Burbank with me. So the less you say while he's here, and the sooner you leave, the better for all concerned. I won't have a repetition of what happened last time. Uh, well, you mean when the butler showed me the wine cellar? Exactly. And the time before. Oh, but uh, then the butler only... Every time a, you come here, a butler has to go. Thank heaven this fellow is a total abstainer. Uh, well, I was going. Well, I don't know how you're going to entertain yourself till we get back. The drinks are all locked up. Ah, what a pity. What a pity.
Did you ring, sir? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Can I get you anything, sir? Eh? Is there anything you want, sir? Well, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't mind... Uh, I'm very sorry, sir, but the drinks are all locked up. Yes, sir, I know that, but... Uh, oh, I mean, are they? Oh. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking of a drink. Matter of fact, I, I don't... Uh, I don't touch it. Oh, really, sir? No. I'm a teetotaler, too. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not exactly a teetotaler, you know, but uh, I only take it as a medicine. Oh, really? Mm. I suffer with spasms, you know, and I find a little brandy or whiskey or gin. In fact, uh, any kind of spirit is, uh, is the only thing that relieves me. Do you have them often, sir? Well, uh, they're not regular, you know. That's the trouble, you see. I, I never know when one's likely to come on. <clears throat> oh. Oh, dear. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, dear. Oh, could I get you an aspirin, sir? Oh, no, 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 that would only aggravate it. No, there's only one thing would, uh, would ease it, and uh, if that's locked up, well, I suppose I have to grin and bear it. I suppose this, uh, this is locked, isn't it? Yes, but perhaps Sir Roger would open it under the circumstances. Oh, no, no, I don't want him to know. No, he would only, uh, he would worry. Oh, well, perhaps one of my keys might open it. Let's try it, eh? Yes. Any luck, sir? No, no, I'm afraid. No, no, no luck. No, it's pretty, isn't it? But you haven't got a hairpin? No. No, of course not, no. Hmm, shame. Well, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I've got a, a safe in my office that opens exactly the same way. Really? Yes. Ah, this will soon put me right. Shall I pour it out for you? Oh, no, no, no. I know just exactly how much I need. This is well very sure. It's a marvellous remedy, that, you know. If you have a spasm, I advise you to take it. Oh, I never have spasm, sir. The only thing I'm troubled with is the toothache. Toothache? Yes, I have a hollow tooth here. Have you? Let me see it. Oh, so you have, yes. Is it aching now? A little, sir. Is it? Oh, I can stop that aching at once. Why, this is the very stuff. Oh, no, sir, I never drink alcohol. No, I, I don't want you to drink it. Just, just hold a little in your tooth, you know, like this. Just watch me. Hmm? Go on, try that. Go on, it won't hurt you. Go on. Huh? That's it. That's any better. Well... <coughs> oh, I swallowed it. Oh, no, you mustn't swallow it. No, just hold it in your tooth. Watch me again, look. Hmm? Hmm? Go on, try it again. Take a little more this time. That's it. All right, feeling any better now? I do believe it's taking effect, sir. Eh? Good, you, you keep on doing that. That's the idea. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> now you ask this one. This is my favourite shop. Good break, old boy. Well, aches and pains. Aches and pains. Die. I want three for game. Right. <coughs> well, that's that. You're not in my class, old boy. No, billiards is not my game. Well, uh, got any more games? Bring them out. I'll play in any of them. I've got a game I'll beat you at. Come here. Come on. Come on. Now you watch this one. Ah, yes. This is my favourite shop. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad your father will be able to do it. Yes, it's great. Right. <laughs> I'll do my best. Mind your nose. Where is Daddy? Oh, he's about somewhere. Roger, well, just ring the bell and ask Martin to find him, will you?
Wonderful, old boy. Oh. You've rung the bell. Bell? Yes. Bell? Oh, I was it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, no, 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 no. You finish again. I'll go. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's what I get paid for. <laughs> oh. Now, which of them wants me? Those two. Oh. You know, Barbara, I shall enjoy meeting your father. I've heard such a lot about him from Jimmy. Oh. Yes, uh, probably this is the last opportunity you'll have for some time. <laughs> you see, uh... Yes, he's such a busy man. Always snowed under by briefs and things. <laughs> you know, I like these professional men. Oh, there are, Lydia. You are laughing. <laughs> there aren't you Wimbledon to see you, sir. Hello, lads. Hi, here, what's this? Ah, yeah, I bet you can do it. Go on, have a try. Huh? Go on, you can do it. Hold your stomach in. Go on. It's just what I expected. Not content with ruining your own life, you're now bent on ruining your daughter's. Who's ruining my daughter's life? Who is? Bring him in here. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? Why, what, what have I done? You've chosen a time like this to reduce yourself to a state of of pitiful intoxication. And Lord Burbank here to meet you. Oh, is he here? Good, let's go and meet him. Come on, You'll not meet anyone. I've been indulgent in the past, but, but this is the last straw. You'll go straight out of this house, immediately. Shall I pack his bag, sir? Yes, and your own as well. You're discharged. Both of you will leave my house. And if you've got a scrap of decency left in you, you'll go without anyone seeing you. What did he say? Shh! We mustn't let anybody see us. Hey, I thought I told you to go downstairs and... Hello, Nick. How are you? I haven't Hello, seen you boss. since the old Ma broke up. <laughs> What's your racket now? Oh, well, ask him. What's his racket? <laughs> I'm standing down there pick a lily trying to read them signs. I feel the hand in my pocket. I turns around and slug the guy and who is it but Nick? Can you beat that, boss? Uh, nobody was more surprised than I was. I bet you were at this. Which slug tells me you haven't found it so easy over there. Yeah, I've been here six weeks, and all I've got the chauffeur is a hotel bill as long as your arm. Well, there's plenty of easy picking here. Uh, don't I know it? I had a sucker all framed and ready to knock over when that dumb little dame I brought from the States goes and gums up the works. Is that so? I suppose it's my fault the guy turned out to be a bankrupt. Certainly. Why didn't you check up on him? Why didn't I? Why didn't you? You're supposed to be the brains of this outfit. Say, listen, you... Can it, can it? Who's the boyfriend? Nick Harris. Hi, Nick. Kelly's the name. Goldie Kelly. How are you, Goldie? Welcome to London. Huh. You're welcome to it. I'll take New York. You'll take London and like it. Oh, boy, can I pick them? How can you do anything without cooperation? Listen, you're not in America now. He thinks all he's got to do is to walk into a bank, pull out a gat, say, stick him up like he does at home. You can't get away with that sort of stuff over here. Now, it's a little bit different, but it must be done. There you are. There's a mugget nose. Here, yeah, suppose I had just the right sort of a bank job for you. Yeah, what sort of a right job? Well, there's a bloke that lives in the same place as me what's got an office right over the bank. What's his racket? He's got no racket. He's a lawyer, a proper mug. Well, can he be handled? Sure, he owes me some money. Now, he's gone away for the weekend. Would you like to come down and have a look at the layout? Sure, why not? We've got nothing to lose. Say, boss, I was thinking... What with? Oh, can I even make a suggestion? No, things are bad enough as they are. Come on. Ah, this is a lot of baloney to me. Well, Duke knows what he's doing. Hello, Stubbins. Oh, oh, hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Oh, oh, I, I haven't forgotten it, you know. I owe you five pounds, don't I? Yes, well, uh, uh, I'll write you a check now. <coughs> 
Oh, dear, oh, dear, dear. Well, what have I done with my check? I haven't come here for that. Oh, good. Oh, haven't you? Oh, oh well, uh, uh, will you sit down? Oh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Stubbins, Mr. Riley. Oh, uh, oh, how do you do, Mr. Riley? Hiya, pal. Uh, oh, hiya, pal. Uh, uh, well, are you free to take a very important case immediately? Uh, take, uh, take what? An important case. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, an important case. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let me see now. Uh, well, I'll just have a look at my diary. Uh, oh, yes, Lord Copley versus uh, Snellgrove and Wade. Uh, Brixton Radiators versus Humidor Steel. <coughs> Smith versus Copeland Jones. Arsenal versus Tottenham. Oh, no. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Just, uh, uh, well, yes, I think I can take it. Uh, if it's immediately. Good. Well, get your hat and go, because I want you to meet these people. A couple of rich Americans. Oh, rich, are they? Yes. Oh, well, I'd be very glad to meet them. Well, come on. Oh, yes, yes. You know, it's, um, it's a long time since I had any uh, uh, rich um, uh, American clients. No? Well, whether you like it or not, that's it. Now, listen. I don't mind helping you put the squeeze on some of these rich old mugs, but when it comes to tapping a bank, you can count me out. So, listen, you, I'm the... I know. You're the brains of the outfit, but you can still count me out. If you don't do what I want you to do, I'll count you out all right. But you won't be able to hear me. Why, you big summer... Go on, get in there and get yourself fixed up. Come in. This is the gentleman I spoke to you about. Mr. Stubbins, meet Mr. Wilson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Stubbins. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Wilson? Oh, Gloria, dear. Yes? Come here, dear. Gloria, dear. Oh, Gloria, dear. Mr. Stubbins, I want you to meet my uh, ward, Miss Gloria McCracken. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Uh, uh, Stubbins is the name. Oh, pardon me. Mr. Stubbins. Yes, it's an old English name. <laughs> yes. oh, won't you sit down, Mr. Stubbins? Yes. Thank you. Will you have a drink? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Well, I, uh, suit yourself. Uh, oh, well, if I do, uh, uh, just a small one. Okay. Slug, uh, Mr. Riley, serve some drinks, will you? Okay, boy. Well, let's get down to business. Mr. Stubbins, are you by any chance familiar with the old Scottish clan McCracken? Well, I'm not exactly familiar with them, but uh, of course I've heard of them. You have? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I've heard of nothing against them. So much the better. Well, this is the situation. My little ward here is the sole descendant of the branch of the McCracken family that settled in America many years ago. Now, the McCracken title, Castle and Estates, are being held in trust for want of an heir. Mr. Stubbins, I am positive that this little lady is the rightful heir. But we've got to prove it. That's where you come in. Yes? Yes. I want you to trace the American McCrackens from Chicago straight back to that castle in Scotland. Do you think you can do it? Uh, well, yes. I, I don't think there's any difficulty about that. <coughs> I'd love to do anything I could for uh, for Mr. Uh, Miss McCulloch. McCracken. Uh, uh, McCracken, yes. Good. Of course, it'll, uh, it'll mean a lot of hard work and take some time and uh, quite a little, uh, a little money. Well, if everything works out as we hope, it'll be worth it. Uh, of course, you understand that in, uh, in cases of this kind, it, it's usual to advance... Uh, uh, how much? Uh, a little uh, on account... Uh, Oh, well, uh, well, suppose we say, uh... How uh, about a hundred pounds? Uh, uh, hey? A hundred pounds enough? Oh, oh, I, I couldn't dream of... Uh, okay, make it a hundred and fifty. Uh, yeah. Have a share. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. You're thank hired. You. I'll be down in your office the first thing in the morning to look to join, uh, to uh, get things straightened up. Huh. Well, well, don't you think you'd better give me a day or two just to, to get things moving? Okay. Uh, well, good luck. Uh, good luck. Uh, well, here's to the last of the McCulloch's. Uh, McLaren. McLaren. Uh, McLaren. You know, these McCrackens are far more numerous than I ever imagined they were. Why, there are thousands and thousands of them. However, I'm, I'm doing it in a very systematic way, uh, as you see. I went back to the uh, earliest existing records and uh, started from there. Uh, don't you think it would be easier for you to start at the present and work back? Well, I, I tried that with the, uh, the Edinburgh McCrackens, you see. I started with Angus, and I went back... Oh, I've got it over here. I'll show you. Now, uh, there's a lot of ways of doing this, but this is the, uh, this is the legal way, you see. It gives you the whole thing at a glance. Now, let me see. Now, uh, as I was saying, I started with Angus here, you see, and I traced him back to 1782 uh, on his father's side. Here you are, Stubbins. We got every one of the bloke let us take. And a couple he wouldn't. What do you want them? Oh, put them down there. This one, mate. Okay. 
Now, uh, taking this branch here, Mary and John. There's a boy out here with a parcel, sir. Uh, oh, well, I'll be right out. All right, sir. Uh, uh, will you excuse me a moment? Why, certainly. What's in it? I don't know. The old boy and I are spending a lot of money lately. Buying this and buying this. Mr. Stubbin? Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Boy, does that guy play me. Yeah, but don't go wisecracking with him. He knows his trees. I'll say he does. Thank you, sir. Ah, little present for my daughter. Think this is pretty? Hmm. Mm hmm. That's a honey. Hmm. Douglas, do we lunch or do we lunch? Lunch? Why, is it that day's already? Good heavens, how time flies. Well, I'd ask you to have lunch with us, Stubbins, but I don't want to take you away from your work. Oh, that's all right. I, I don't bother about lunch as a rule. I haven't been eating much lately. I, I, I've been on a diet, you know. I'll send the boy for some sandwiches. Okay, come along, dear. Well, see you later. Yes, I shall be here if you want me. I expect I shall work late tonight. You see, I simply must find Alex's father. What's I stubborn? I didn't expect you to work nights at this. In fact, I'd rather you didn't. Oh, that's all right. When, when work's interesting, you know, it's not work at all. Say, I thought tonight was the night we were going to pull out. What he means to say is, what are we going to do about the other appointment? Oh, don't you worry about that. You boys stay here and help Mr. Stubborn. You'll hear from me later. Well, Douglas, do we eat or do we eat? Coming, dear. Uh, so long, Stubbins. Don't oh. work too hard. No, 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 don't worry. Now, I think the first thing we'd better do is to phone your Uncle Roger and let him know we're in town. Yes. We can look at Daddy, too, while we're here. Oh, well, I don't know about your Daddy. He's usually so terribly busy. But we can try. Yes, we can try. Well, the track still goes. I think you're off your nuts. Trying to cap up bang. Yeah, well, if you hadn't been such a flop, we wouldn't be doing it. Do we have to go over all that again? No, shut up. It's settled. We're putting that job tonight. Well, I think you're screwing. Ah, uh, why don't you give yourself up? I got a telephone. Thank you, Sir Roger. Mandel cigar. The usual brand, Sir Roger? Yeah. Very good, Sir Roger. Thank you, Sir Roger. Hey. Yes, madam? Who's the old walrus over there? Walrus, madam? Yeah, the big shot with the handlebars. Handlebars? Yeah. This is Sir Roger Wimpleton, one of the richest baronets in England. Well, slap my mouth. Uh, pardon, madam. Huh? Oh, skip it, skip it. Yes, madam. I beg your pardon, but, but haven't I met you someplace before? I wouldn't be at all surprised. I've been lots of places. <laughs> I've a very bad memory for names, but I never forget a face. <laughs> you make a good flashboard. Uh, I mean, detective. Oh, quite. Mr. Stubbins? Oh, this is Wilson speaking. Listen, I've got a new slant on that family tree business. I want to talk it over with you right away. But I'm tied up and can't get back to your office, so you better come down here. 
I was up to my eyes in work at the moment, Mr. Wilson, and uh, I don't like the idea of leaving it just now. But this is important. You come down to the hotel and wait for me in my room. Oh, I'll fix it up so you can get the key. Well, that's very awkward, Mr. Wilson, you see. Well, let me talk to Riley. Oh, all right. Mr. Wilson wants to speak to you, Mr. Riley. Me? Yes. Want me, boss? Sir? It's okay. We're full of that job tonight. Gee, that's great, boss. But what about the old, uh, what about Mr. Stubbins? Well, don't you worry about him. I'll see he's kept busy at the hotel. Listen, as soon as he leaves, you and Nick get the junk together and pick me up at Harry's bar. Okay. We'll be there with bells on. He wants us to look at the things all year round. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, that'll help me a lot. Very nice of you to carry on for me. And so, when we came back from Florida, my brother put the yacht up for the winter and closed the Long Island home and we came to London for a rest. Yes, I, uh, I understand that life in America is very much more hectic than it is over here. Oh, you have no idea. We were glad to get away for a little while. <laughs> oh, allow me. I couldn't think of it. It would be a great pleasure. Well, it's very kind of you. Thank you, Sir Roger. I, um... Uh, I suppose you have engagements the whole afternoon. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought of doing a little shopping, but I don't know London very well. Where are the best shops here? Well, if you'd allow me, I should be uh, very pleased to show you. I'd love to if you're not too busy. Busy? I haven't got a thing to do. All right. Let's go. Yes. Please, Sir Roger. And I hear things are much cheaper here than they are uh, at home. Yes, uh, Excuse me, will you? Oh, what do you think you're going? It's my Aunt Shay. Well, wait a minute. Anne Shay. You ready? Well, we'll get along, shall we? Yes. Yes, I'll see to that this afternoon. Yes, madam. Goodbye. Yes, madam. Uh, my name is Stubbins. Mr. Stubbins, oh yes. Mr. Wilson would like you to go straight upstairs and wait for him. I'll give you the key. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Daddy. Hello. Why, what on earth are you doing up in town? Hello, Margaret. Hello. Oh, Auntie and I came up to do some Christmas shopping. Ah. Ah, it's a surprise, isn't it? Yes, it is. So this is where you hide yourself away. Thanks for living in the same hotel and we didn't know it. Come on, Auntie. Let's go in with Daddy for a moment. Hmm, well, we mustn't stay long. Oh, what a lovely seat. You know, I always imagined you were living in a place like this. Eh? Hey, uh, uh, oh, oh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, well, it's not bad, you know. I suppose, um, well, as hotels go, I suppose it's quite good. Oh, is that your bedroom, Daddy? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. That's, uh, no, that's not the bedroom. That's, uh, that's the door that leads to the other... Uh, the, uh, the bedroom's over there. Oh, may I look? Uh, no. Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course, yes. Benjamin, what on earth happened? Uh, why, 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 what do you mean? Are you living here? Uh, oh, oh, yes, oh. Oh, well, I, I've been doing rather well lately. Yes, you must have been. I have. Uh, I hope you're not running into debt. Uh, oh, debt? Oh, no, no, Margaret. You, you know me better than that. Yes, but it's rather worrying. Well, oh, wouldn't you like to see the bedroom, too? Uh, go on, go on, go on, have a look. Nice bedroom. 
Oh, yes, it's, it's not bad, is it? It's a beautiful bedroom, Daddy. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I love the color scheme. Yes, Mr. Wilson. My key? Mr. Stubbins took it, sir. He's upstairs waiting for you now. Okay. Oh, well, I, I mustn't keep you from your shopping. Oh, we've got lots of time. Sit down, Daddy. Uh, yes, but uh, I was thinking of the time that the shops closed, you oh, know. that's all right. They keep open much later, just before Christmas. Oh, oh yes, so they do. We've got yes. plenty of time. Well, I went out to buy something yesterday, and it took me... Oh, Mr. Wilson, yes. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Yes, I, uh, you know, I'd quite forgotten our appointment. You see, uh, my, uh, my family dropped in to see me, and, uh, uh, will you excuse me? Well, suppose we say, uh, let's make it uh, 2.30 at the office on... on, on uh, hey, what's the big idea? Well, uh, well I, I must apologize for pushing you out of your own suite, Mr. Wilson, but, you see, just as I was unlocking the door, my family came along, and they took it for granted I lived there, you see. Well, it's uh, just a little sort of joke. I, I let them think I did. Oh, so that's it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I won't spoil your little joke, Mr. Stubbins. Oh. You go on letting them think it's yours. Uh, I tell you what to do. Throw a party. Have them here to dinner. Well, what about your appointment? Wouldn't it upset your arrangement? No, yeah, no. We've got something already planned for tonight. You stay as long as you like. Huh. Oh, and uh, charge the dinner up to me. Yeah. Oh, 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 thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Uh, that's very nice of you. That lets me out beautifully. <laughs> well, are you sure that you Not a bit. It suits me fine. Huh. Well, so long, Mr. Stubbins. Uh, so long, so long. Uh, yes, of course. All right, then. We'll, uh, <coughs> we'll stay 2.30 at the office on Friday. Right. Well, you won't forget. Goodbye. Well, there you are. You see how it is. <coughs> Can't get away from business for a moment. No chance to relax at all. Well, why not give the office a rest for today, Daddy? Yes, I think I will. That's a jolly good idea. You know, all work and no play, you know? Yes, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come shopping with you. Oh, eh? well, and, and then we'll all come back here and have a dinner party in my suite. Oh, Lovely. Daddy, that'll be marvelous. Oh, good evening. Oh, Mr. Wilson, I'm sorry to Bronx, Martini, Manhattan, Sidecar, Clover Club, Alexander. Uh, yes, yes. And Mr. Fish, a little Grave or Sauterne, Barsac, uh, Chateau Pipé or Chablis. Chab what? Uh, Chablis, sir. Yes, I have a little Chablis, sir. Maybe come in. Oh, there you are. Yes. Not too ready, are we, Daddy? Oh, no, no. Everything's ready. Oh, what lovely job. Hey, you like lovely, them? lovely. Hello, Ben. Hello. Well, will you sit over there, Margaret? Thank you. And Lucy, yes, yes, right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, waiter, uh, Garçon, you may serve dinner. Yes, sir. Yes, Careful, what's that doing? Oh, wait, you look what you're doing, you big one. Oh, Are you sure there's no chance of Stubbins turning up? Not a chance. I got him all set. What is that I think I'm going to check up on him? But I said, uh, as your lordship please, isn't that rather tickled the old boy? And of course, uh, we won the case, and uh, we, with costs, heavy costs too. Oh. Uh, you're not drinking your wine, my dear. Don't you like it? Mm, it's nice. Yeah, it should be. It's uh, Chablis, sir. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, excuse me, will you? <laughs> Hello. This is Wilson, Mr. Stubbins. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I just called up to see if everything was all right and to tell you that you needn't be in any hurry to leave my suite. We're uh, staying out late tonight. Oh, oh, that'll suit me fine, Mr. Wilson. Okay. Goodbye. He's all set. Come on, let's get to work. <coughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, I don't know what that fellow thinks I've got an office for, you know. <coughs> You big cop, why didn't you hang on to that? Oh, I couldn't help it. I'm going to get two hands. Oh, if you want to bring the cops here, why don't you use the phone? Well, oh, what's the matter with oh, this? Oh, shut up. Come on, throw that ladder down. Come on, you come down with me, Slug. And Nick, you stay up here and pass the stuff down. Okay. Oh, and just to be on the safe side, in about 15 minutes, ring the hotel and check up in Stubbins. All right. Come on, stupid, and don't forget your gloves. Oh, 
Oh, what a help. What do you think I am, a sailor? All right. All right, Nick, send that stuff down. Come on, give me a hand with this, will you? All right, bring it on top of it. Come on. Let's hurry up, will you? Come on, open that bag. American cigarettes. <coughs> are they? Uh, oh, yes, uh, yes, they are. Yes, I, uh, I very often smoke them. They're a little more expensive, but uh, I like them. <coughs> they suit my throat. I'm so glad you're coming down for Christmas, Daddy. Only I hope you won't leave as soon as you get there, like you did on my birthday. Your birthday? Why, that reminds me, I've still got your present in my office. Then you can bring it down with you. Bring it? No, oh, no, you shall have it tonight. I'll go down to the office now and get it. Oh, no, Daddy, don't bother. I can easily wait until Christmas. No, 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 you've waited quite long enough. You won't wait another minute. I'll go get it. I, I'll be there back in a jiffy. Oh, thanks. I, uh, oh, Daddy, don't bother. No trouble at all, my dear. It's uh, quarter to nine now. I can be back by nine o'clock. <laughs> Hello? Hello? That's funny. I was just ringing you up. Ah. Ah, are you still on the job? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I can't find Alex's father anywhere. Oh, well, you, uh, have you got the right book? No, no, no. You're, you're in the wrong century. Oh. Why, Alex's father couldn't have been born then. The book he wants over here. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I think it's over here. Oh, well, you must have moved them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is the one you want. But uh, why not leave it till tomorrow? Oh, I feel like working tonight. Oh, well, all right. But uh, don't forget who you're looking for, you know. Alec McCracken's father, 1782. If you, uh, if you happen to come across him, I'll show you where he goes on the family tree. Hurry up, you all set? Okay, get ready to start. Now, don't forget to put him down. If I find him, I'll put him down there. Love me! He's done it! What hit me? Who done it? The Stubbins. How'd you get here? Hey, what's the idea of letting this guy down here? Well, I couldn't help it. He walked right through the hole. Why, Mr. Wilson? Why, what's happened? Where am I? Ah, uh, you're in Trafalgar Square, feeding the pigeons. Feeding the pigeons? Shall I let him have it, boy? No. Now, get this. You mind your own business and keep out of the way and you won't get hurt, see? Come on, boys, let's get busy. Why, it's the bank. And the safe's open. Here, here, here. You, you're robbing the bank. Uh, you're telling me. Yeah, but you, you mustn't do that. No, who says so? I do. I, I, I wanted to do it. You come away. Come out of there. Come out. Get away from there before you get hurt. Uh, no, I, I shan't. I, I wanted to do it. I won't stand for it. Then lay down. Oh. Okay, boy. Isn't it time your father was back? He ought to be here by now. Oh, it's a long 15 minutes. Yes. I wonder what's holding him up. All right, boys, take him away. What's that, boys? Yes. All right, what are we going to do with this mug? We'll take him along with us. Come on, get this stuff together here. And we'll put the, put the, take the stuff outside and give it a rest. Answer it. Not show your mug like Hello? Is Mr. Stubbins there? This is his daughter speaking. It's for him. His daughter. Tell her he'll be right there. He won't be a minute. There, Auntie. They're calling. Go on, Slug. Pull them together. Come on, come on. Here, yeah, wait a minute, I'll fix them. Yes? Yes? Yes, well, what is it? Wait, wait. Oh. Now get this. Your daughter's on the telephone. Tell her you're busy at the office and get them out of my room. Uh, but, uh, they're, they're waiting for me. They expect me back. Go on, go on. Do as I tell you, will you? Come on, get busy, get busy. Uh, uh, hello, Barbara. Oh, hello, Daddy. What's happened to you? 
Oh, something awful has happened. Uh, some, something awful, awfully uh, important happened to crop up when I came in the office. Don't tell me it's that Wilson man again. I, I don't think you'd better wait for me. I'll, I'll try and see you tomorrow. But we're going home tonight. Uh, oh, well, uh, I, I'm sure I won't be able to get away. So uh, uh, say goodnight to Auntie for me. Uh, will you? Uh, goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Finished? Yes. Good. Come on, boys, get this stuff out of here. Blimey, not a bad night's work, eh? Easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, but if we had it did it my way, it'd have been much easier. This stuff had gone through the ceiling as a lot of hoy. I like to go right smack in the front door. Last year I'm out in South Bend, Indiana, see? I looked up and right smack in front of me is a bank. In three minutes I was in and out of the bank with a load of dough. Why don't out. you dry up? I've counted this one pile three times already. You and your South Bend. Hello, Stubbins. Pull up a chair. <coughs> what? Well, I'd do nothing of the kind. I, I wouldn't dream of sitting down with you. You, you, you you're, you're dishonest. You're nothing but a, a, a lot of common burglars. You, you broke into a bank and you, you've done it through my office too. What's more, you, you've ruined my office floor. Here, yeah, count these. Oh, sure. uh, uh, well, what? It's nothing of the kind. I, I wouldn't touch them. You, you stole them. You count them. Why? You, you, you've broken the law. You, you've taken stuff that doesn't belong to you. You can't do that here. They won't allow you. And I'm going to see that you get what you deserve too. I'm going straight out until the first policeman I see. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you're going to tell a policeman. Uh, yes, the first one I see, too. Good, show him that. All right, I will. <coughs> Serves you jolly well right. You thought you were clever, didn't you? Well, you're not. They've got fingerprints. You know what that means? Yes, it means you'd better duck. They're yours. Mine? Yeah. You ought to wear gloves when you handle a safe. Oh, dear. Oh, what a pity. Oh, come on, Stubby. Keep your mouth shut and everything will be all right. Here, this will pay for the office floor. No, 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 I, I wouldn't touch it. And if I were you, I'd ring up the bank and tell them you're going to bring all that money right back. Yeah? And if I were you, I'd put on my gloves and get out of town. Don't forget, you're the only one they got anything on. So be a good little boy and keep your trap shut. Cheerio. Yeah. Oh. Merry Christmas. Same to you. What? Oh, Can I see Mr. Stubbins, please? His room's upstairs, number four. Thank you. Come in. How do you do? Oh, oh, good, good evening. Good, good morning. Are you Mr. Stubbins? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, well, what is it? I'm from the yard. Yard? Uh, whose yard? Scotland Yard. Oh, Sergeant Collins. Oh, oh well, how, how are you, uh, Mr. Collins? Uh, Inspector uh, Sergeant. Mr. Stubbins, last night the bank under your office was robbed. No. Yes, and they got in through a hole in your floor. I'd like you to come along with me. Uh, eh? We think you may be of some help to us. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I'd be very pleased to help you. Yes, yes. Uh, have you any idea who did it? Oh, yes, we've one or two good clues. They always leave something behind them to give themselves away. Will you come along with me now? Uh, yes, yes. Right. Come along, sir. This is Mr. Stubbins, Inspector. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Uh, how do you do? Is that your office up there? Uh, yes, yes. Well, that's how they got in. Oh. Why, uh, that was a long drop. Eh? Uh, I, I say that would be a long way to drop, wouldn't it? Yes, but they used the ladder. Oh, did they? Oh. I'll go and have a look round upstairs. Yes. Do you mind coming along with me, Mr. Stubbins? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. no I don't know. Uh, uh. Oh, 
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a mess. What a mess, isn't it? Yes. Any more fingerprints, Joe? No, just they'd set on the safe, that's all. The rest of them must have had gloves on. You better have a look around here. All right, I'll go down and get my stuff. And do you think you'll catch them? Well, there shouldn't be much trouble about the one who left his fingerprints in the safe down there. One of the best sets I've seen in years. <laughs> he might just as well have left his visiting card. Excuse me a moment, will you? Well, Mr. Stubbins, I don't think we'll take up any more of your time. Joe will be through any minute. Oh, uh, you mean I can go now? Huh? Yes, for the present. I expect we'll get in touch with you later. Oh, oh, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Find anything, Joe? Looks like a couple here that might tell us something. Now what's eating here? Listen, I've just come from the bank. They've got policemen all over the place asking questions and, uh, and looking for fingerprints. And just as I left, I, I heard they'd found something. What on earth am I going to do? Joe, I told you what to do. Put on your gloves and scram. Scram? Yeah, blow, duck, get out of town. Then, but what, what about the fingerprints? Suppose they find out they're mine. If you keep out of the way, they've no chance of comparing them. Oh, well, yes, that's right. I didn't think of that. Then, well, I, I, I'd better go, hadn't I? Yeah, while the going's good. Yes. But where, where shall I go? Oh, go, go anywhere, but get out of town. Go hide yourself in the country. In the country? Yes. Yes, yes, that's just what I'll do. Yes. Come on in, Wimpy, dear. Oh, oh don't be silly. Come along. Come on, I'll sit down and relax for a little while. Go sweet, hi, you. Come see. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a long time since I stayed out all night. And what a stayer out you are, too, baby. <laughs> oh. Where have you been? Where have we been? <laughs> We've had a wonderful time. Been to five nightclubs, had breakfast at the cutest little country inn, drove to Brighton and back, and here we are. And am I tired? Oh, uh, you don't know Wimpy, do you? This is my brother, Duke uh, Douglas. Um, this is Wimpy, uh, Sir Roger Wimbledon. How do you do, Sir Wimbledon? I must apologize for keeping your sister out so late. You kept me out. I should say it was the other way around. I kept you out. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I shall have to be going. Uh. No, 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 you don't. Not before you've had a teeny little pick-me-up. Uh, Duke uh, Douglas, uh, fix the Lord a drink. Oh, well, well. Come on, come on. Just a very, very small one. Oh, you know, Wimpy, I think you're an old meanie for not asking me to your Christmas party. Oh, my dear, I'd like to, but you but you know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. All I know is that it's Christmas, and I'm far away from home, and I'm going to be a very lonely little girl. Oh, my dear, I wish I could, but I don't see how it can be arranged. I tell you what, you invite my brother, and he'll bring me. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. This is the topping idea. I'll, I'll expect you both. Oh, goody. Youngest, did you hear? What? Wimpy's asked us for his Christmas party in the country. Oh, yeah? Mm. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, it's fancy dress, you know. Oh, how nice. Yeah, yeah isn't that well? Oh, well, here. Well, <laughs> cheer ho. Cheer ho. <laughs> ah. Well, now I really must be going. Well, if you must. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, Mr. Van Dusen. Uh, uh, I shall be seeing you at Christmas time. Oh, Christmas time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Wimpy, darling. 
My dear, look after them, you for me. Delighted. Cocktail, sir? Uh, well, uh, haven't you any whiskey? Yes, sir. Oh, well, uh, I'll just have a small, um, a small double. Very good, sir. Two, sir? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, oh, did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Starting rather early, aren't you? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's Roger. <coughs> oh, oh, I didn't know you. What is it? Uh, uh, Henry VIII, isn't it? Hmm? Well, it suits you. I like the beer, too. It's uh, very effective. You should always wear it. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, Dad, <laughs> this is Mr. Stubbins, Barbara's father. How do you do, Mr. Stubbins? Oh, how do you do, Lord Rodney? There. <laughs> He's got... <laughs> well, you'll excuse me, won't you? <laughs> oh, you excuse us. We must speak to Mr. Stubbins. Oh, right. Come along, dear. <laughs> Talk Mr. To you about Stubbins, this is a surprise. Yes, I didn't expect we'd run into each other down here. No, neither did I. Uh, you people know each other, then? Oh, yes, Mr. Stubbins has handled some business for us. I had no idea of that. Oh, I knew he wouldn't mention it. It was very confidential. Oh. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a little surprise for you all. Come along, Harry. Yes. Hey, what are you doing here? Does Sir Roger know who you are? No, and if you want to keep your health, you won't tell him. Now, look here, Wilson. Oh, can I, Wilson? Stop. Down here, I'm known as Van Dusen. Do you get that? Van Dusen? Yeah. So you are up to some monkey business. Well, I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to stand for it. You know what happened to you the last time you pulled that kite? <laughs> Will you have a drink, madam? Hey, Slug, get a load of who's here. Well, for crying out loud, what's he doing here? If he's a wise guy, he's keeping his mouth shut. Keep your eye on him, Slug. Okay, boss. Gloria, dear, shall we join the ladies? Here, have a shot. You'll need it before the night's over. I'll be seeing you. Hey, Roger? Yes? I hope you'll pardon this intrusion, but I'd like to see Mr. Stubbins. Mr. Stubbins? Yes. I understand he's here. Certainly. Aldrich, will you tell Mr. Stubbins to come here? Very good, Sir Roger. Will you have a drink? Christmas time, you know? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Sir Roger would like to see you in the hall. Oh, all right. Find Mr. Stubbins and bring him here. Yes, sir. Excuse me, will you?
Marty. Well, Mr. Stubbins. Oh, well, well, what are you doing here? Well, I was playing doctor, just filling in the time. Well, has you got your job back? Just temporary, sir, through Lady Wimperdon. You see, at midnight, I've got a job of climbing up a ladder to get on top of the roof. Then I've got to come down the chimney and distribute these presents to the guests. Oh. Would you care for a game, sir? Uh, no, no, I've got a little job to do myself. Oh. Any of the guests been through here lately? Well, Mr... Um, uh, Mr... Uh, well, uh, what did you say your name was? Collins. Uh, well, Mr. Collins, no guests have been in here, sir. Are you sure? Oh, quite sure, sir. I've been in here all night playing dark. Oh. Thank you, Mark. Was he looking for you? Uh, yes, I didn't want him to catch me. Oh, uh, well, if you want to get away, sir, this door leads outside. No, 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 I can't leave the house, you see, because there are certain people here that I want to keep my eye on without them knowing. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help, sir? No, I don't think there is, no. I don't... Yes, yes, I'll tell you what you can do. You haven't forgotten your promise, have you? Did I promise something? Mm -hmm. You promised to show me the family heirloom. Oh, so I did. Well, well, this is a good time. Come along. <laughs> Have you found him yet? No. That fellow's never anywhere when he's wanted. This is the most valuable of the lot. My dear, you, you see what I mean. It's, uh, it's rather... Oh, please. Why not? There's no harm in it. But, my dear... Oh, she looks lovely in them. Come along. Oh, thank you. My brother will enjoy seeing them so much. He does you know. He uh, sometimes selects odd pieces. Oh, how interesting. Now, well, with this on, I'll be able to keep my eye on those crooks and dodge that detective at the same time. Quite right, sir. Uh, thanks to you. <laughs> Attention, everybody! I have an announcement to make. I don't. Now, listen, everybody. In a few moments, it'll be Christmas Day. So if you'll all sit down like good little boys and girls, I have a surprise for you. Now, everybody sit down. That's right. Sit down. That. Your own grandmother wouldn't know you now, sir. No, it's not her I'm worrying about. <laughs> Don't forget your bag, sir. Oh, oh no. no. Shake it up. Now listen, start down there with that guy with the spurs on. Come on, hurry up. Watch him down there, Nick. Keep an eye on him. All right, Scotty, chill out. All right, lady, get that load of ice off your chest. Come on, take them off, take them off. Don't be bashful. What's going on? Stick up your mitts. You can't do that sort of thing here. Give me that gun. Okay. That'll learn you. 
You too. No, keep that junk on. That's no good to me. Well, you're next. Put them in. Oh, but you can't take these. They don't belong to me. Well, that's his tough luck. Really, Come I... Come on, hurry up and shut up. All right, lady, take them off. Come on, shut out all of them. Peel them off, peel them off. Now, look here. This has gone far enough. I... Oh! Oh, Ben, it's touching the hands. Come on now, take them all off. Good King Winceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. All right, Sandy, spam. And you must move, I'll blow your brains out. What's that? Blow me, he's down the back. Why, that dirty truck. Just a minute, you. <laughs> Bring that bag over here, Santa Claus. Put that bag, babe. Thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, get over there. Oh, that's your little game, Miss Van Dusen. Van Dusen? Why, her name is McCracken. McCracken? Her name's Goldie Kelly. Kelly? And this is Duke Wilson. We've known about him for some time. Good work, Santa Claus. Thank you. <coughs> Daddy, stop him. So it's you, is it? Yes. You know these people? Well, I ought to. They made a mess of my office floor. They're the people that robbed the bank. Thank you, Santa Claus. A very nice little Christmas box. You're welcome. Yes. <coughs> ah, oh. Silence, everybody. A Merry Christmas, girls and boys! I bought you jewels instead of toys. And now, in spite of what you think, it seems to me I've earned a drink. You're right, old chap. You saved us lots of trouble. You deserve a drink. I'll have a double-double. <laughs> 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 Come on, baby. 